Welcome back to the guide. We're going to do compatibility patches. This might be a little long, so I just might break this in two. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let's start off by creating the separator for compatibility patches. So tiny wrench spinner, create the separator. Paste it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move on to Ancient Dwarmer Metal, my patches for Smim Dongard uh, Dragonborn. We got several files here. We're going to merge the main file and the update file. And the optional files will be installed as separate mods. And we have some special instructions here. For Ancient Dwarmer Metal, my patches, Cheeto Splendid Mechanized Dwarmer Door, pick 4K option from within the archive. Okay, so when we get to this step here. Don't worry, I won't forget. So let's go into files. We're going to want the my files, my patches, final SC version. So the main file here. What? 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 Oh, it's only a manual download. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. So now we want to update Ancient Dormer Metal, my patches, final version update. That would be this one right here. And this one we can download the model organizer. All right. Now what are we doing? We're looking at... Ancient Dwemer Metal, Dw uh, Dwemer Metal, Dwemer Pipe Rework Patch. Ethereal Crown, Clockwork, Dwemer Pipe Work Rework. That's, this is the one we want. Yeah, Ancient Dwemer Metal, My Patches, Dwemer Pipe Work Reworked Patch version 42K. Yeah. Now we want the Ancient Dwemer Metal, Jito Splendid Mechanized Dwemer Door. So, pipe work, that's what we got. Female modded armor, nope, right here. We want Jito Splendid Mechanized Dwemer Door. So, mod manager, download that. And then finally, we want the Skyrim Sewers. Ancient Dwemer Metal by Patches Skyrim Sewers. Keep going. Where are you? Where are you? We gotta be getting close. There it is, Skyrim Sewers. This is the one we want. Very right, cool. So now let's install them. Now remember, the main file was actually a manual download, so we had to click on this button here, install a new mod from an archive, and mine points me directly to my download folder. Yours may not. If not, navigate to your download folder. So now we want Ancient Dormer Metal, my patches. We're going to click OK. And let's copy this here, because we're going to want to merge the update into this. So copy this, and then click OK. OK, now let's find that update. There it is, right there. So now I'll install the update, highlight this, go paste. So these uh, so these names match, so you can merge them. Okay, and then merge. Okay, now we're gonna do um, Dwemer Pipework Reworked. I'm pretty sure these are in order that I need them to be. Yep. So let's install the Pipework one. So drop down, Dwemer Pipework Reworked, okay. Now we're gonna install Jito Splendid Mechanized Dwemer Door. Now remember, we got some special um, Instructions here. We're going to pick the 4K option when given the chance. And this is what I was talking about here. See how it says 2K and 4K? Right click on 4K and set as data directory. Now you see data. Right click on data and set as data directory. And there you go. Oops, I forgot to rename it. Let's do it again. So drop down, GLaDOS, GLaDOS, GDOS. <laughs> Splendid mechanized number. The cake is a lie. Okay, right click on 4K, set as data directory. I'll right click on data, set as data directory, and now we're good. All right, then finally, Skyrim Sewers. Let's install that. Drop down, we're going to Skyrim Sewers, and then OK. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. OK, now we're going to ELE patches. Just a bunch of ESL patches for ELE and other village mods uh, by Arthmore. So we want the full mod. What are we using that's uh, Arthmore? Alternative start and cutting room floor. That's it, right? I don't think we're using any of his villages anymore. Boop, boop, double click. So let's see what we're looking at here in the full mod. Next, next, like none of these, right? Oh yeah, Etak Riverwood. Oh, well, this isn't just Arthmore, just villages in general, but yeah, Etak Riverwood, next. Next, follower mods. Oh, okay. Ari, Inigo, Kaiden, Lucian, and Marisi. Next. Next, Arthmore mods. Neither we're not using Bring Out Your Dead. Ooh, that's a first. That's a first. Wow. I wonder if there's something that's replacing it, or was there some recent drama where Arthmore sort of removed a lot of his mods? I'm not sure. That guy is so eccentric. Our various. We want Keep It Clean, Moon and Star, The Flying Knight, Thunder Child, and Windhelm Lighthouse. Next, next, and that's it. Click install. 
Bada bing, bada boom. Interesting NPCs in WACCF outfits patch, main file, version 1. So let's download this. All right. Double click to install this and activate that. MLU Indigo. Indigo no longer gives you free ebony. You can't has his bow. <laughs> oh, come on. And there's a problem here with the, with the SP. It needs to be cleaned. Piece of cake. You know how to do this. All right, so we're looking for MLU Indigo. Keep going down until you see him. There it is, MLU Indigo.esl. Download that. Good. So let's double click and make sure it's named properly. We want it to be MLU Indigo. Okay. Now let's clean it. So activate this. And then in the drop down, go to SSC Edit Quick Auto Clean. Click Run. And then from here, scroll all the way down where you'll find MLU Indigo. Check that box and click OK. That's it. And there it goes. Quick Auto Clean Mode Finish. Background Loader Finish. You are done. X out. All right, moving on. A mega Lore Weapon Expansion Patch. This is a small patch between a Mega and Lore Weapon Expansion. Miscellaneous section, Dark Lady's page. Let's go there. So go to Miscellaneous. We're looking at Omega Lore Weapon Expansion Patch, right? Omega Lore, yeah. Omega Lore Weapon Expansion Patch. Mod Manager Download. Remember, we're going to need to rename this, so double click. Drop down, look for Omega Lore Weapon ex Weapon Expansion Patch. There you go. Okay. Activate that. MLU Community Patches Optional File. We want the Royal Armory. Go into Files. So let's look for Royal Armory. These are in alphabetical order for most for the most part, I think. Here it is. MLUC Royal Armory. I'll click. Uh, I'm going to rename this. MLUC Royal Armory. Yeah, that feels better, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, a mega SRCEO re-leveled and revamped. It's in the miscellaneous section. So let's see if we can remember all these acronyms. A mega R S R C E O re-leveled and revamped. Okay. So go to files. Let's go to miscellaneous. Omega S R C E O Nakako. Eh, I think it was this one, right? Omega S R C E O re-leveled and revamped. That that was it, right? Yes, okay. I'm doubting myself. Mom manager download. Don't ever doubt yourself, JT. I'm trying not to. Uh oh, rename this. A mega SRCO releveled and revamped. Okay. Let's activate that. Convenient horses patch hub. We want the apocalypse caco summer mist. Apocalypse apocalypse caco summer mist. Okay. Apocalypse caco. Sick? Kako sick? No. Apocalypse. Are these in order? Is it under optional? Where is it? Oh, miscellaneous, of course. Miscellaneous. Apoco Apocalypse, Kako, and Summer Mist. Apocalypse, Kako. There it is right there. Woo, finally. It's the fifth one down in the miscellaneous section. Mod Manager download. Now let's install it. Okay. JK's interior patch collection. This is gonna be a lot of patches. I, I just got a feeling. So let's go download this. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna do the collection, right? It's like a full mod type situation. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> There's gonna be so many plugins here, and then none of this is gonna be merged later. Whew. But fun fact, I was able to merge all of these patches plus the actual JK's mods into one plugin to make it work with VR. I was able to do that. I don't know why I clicked that. I want to click the full mod. There we go. All right, starting from the first page. It's probably already selected for us, but let's make sure. So Angelines, yes. Arcadia's, yes. Bannered Mare. Uh, Bellathor's, bits and pieces. Okay, so far so good. Dragon's Reach, Drunken Huntsman. Mm-hmm. Radiant Raiment, yep. War Maidens and Winking Skeever. We're all good on this first page here, guys. Next. Next. For here, we're, we're good here as well. We don't need to change anything here. Next. Next. For Katie's Cauldron, good here. 
And now miscellaneous, we're also good here. Next. Next. Miscellaneous patches, enhanced lights. Okay, we don't want Skyrim unique uh, treasures. Uncheck that box. Next. Next, miscellaneous patches. We are good here. Next. Next. Ooh, so many patches. All right, bad gremlins, enhanced lights, immersive citizens, AI overhaul, Conric. Okay, we don't want Mystic Condenser. Uncheck that. Uh, okay, so this is a slightly newer version of the patch patches that we're using here. So let's match everything up as best as we can. So we want relationship dialogue overhaul and Skyrim unique treasures. Okay. So make sure you just have bad gremlins, enhanced lights and effects, immersive citizens, AI overhaul, Conorix accoutrements, relationship dialogue, and Skyrim unique treasures. That's all we want on this page. Next, next, miscellaneous patches. We are good here. We don't need to change anything. Even though ELFX is being um, abbreviated here, that's ELFX stands for enhanced lights and effects. SFCO stands for a snazzy furniture clutter overhaul. So yeah, we're good. Next, next. More miscellaneous patches. We're not going to change anything here. Next. We're also good here as well. Next. Told you. Lots of patches, man. Miscellaneous patches. All right. Let's go down the list. Alternate start. Yep. Enhanced lights and effects. Yep. ELFX fixes. Mm-hmm. Skyrim sewers. Yep. Project optimization. These go to requirements. Unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. Okay. Top section is good. Now let's look at the bottom section. 3D NPCs with SFCO. Yeah. We're good here. Now install. All right, so just just out of curiosity, let's look at our plugins. It's gonna be a lot of plugins that we already have. We are at 683 plugins, right? Now click this and let's see how many we got. Boom, 720 plugins, oh my God. <laughs> Insane, man, insane. Okay, moving on. Joseph's Russell's writing patches. Okay, so we got four optional patches here. Convenient horses, cutting room floor, false guard, and gray cow. Let's see if I remember that. All right, so beyond convenient horses, see, I already forgot. Convenient, yeah. Okay, convenient horses. Cutting room floor. False scar. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep. We don't want predator vision. No, we don't. Okay, Rig more gray cow. We definitely want gray cow, right? Yep. So download gray cow. Wheels of lull. I thought she, didn't she integrate wheels of lull? But maybe we don't need the patch though. Okay, whatever. So, these are optional files, and we're not being instructed to merge them, so we're going to install them as separate mods. So, starting with Convenient Horses. Drop down. Convenient Horses writing patch. Boom. Cutting room floor. Drop down. Cutting room floor. Typo patch. Well, let's call it writing patch, just so it matches up. Boom. Fall scar. Drop it down. Writing patch. Fall scar. I don't like how they switched it. <laughs> Why do you swap it? No. The Grey Cow. Come on. Drop it down. See, now it's back to the Grey Cow writing patch. Why is False Guard different? <laughs> One of these things are not like the other. All right, activate them. RS Children Patch Compendium. This mod adds various patches for RS Children. Do not install any ETAC patches from this mod. Updated versions were installed during the installation of ETAC. Yes, ma'am. So let's download the full mod. Files. AI, USEP, full mod beta, right? Right. So we went to third option in main files. Download that. All right. So let's open her up. And let's spread this out. Okay. There we go. You can see a complete picture. All right, guys. So let's go down the list. We want to make sure we have books of Skyrim, cutting room floor. Mm-hmm. Good there. Uh, we don't want e tax. Get rid of the e tax. We want Falscar. We want Forgotten City. Elgin Reborn, yep. Interesting NPCs. Moon and Star, yep. Solitude Docks, uh huh. Click over one more. And Worm's Tooth. We are good to go. Install. Piece of cake. We weren't even tempted by the ETAC patches. All right. Miscellaneous Merge Consistency Patch. Let's install that. So it's going to be under Miscellaneous, yeah? Or, yeah, Miscellaneous. So scroll down. Miscellaneous, Miscellaneous going all right miscellaneous was a merge consistency miscellaneous merge consistency yes we want miscellaneous merge consistency patch on manager download boom 
Boom. Okay, let's install this now. Okay, drop it down. Look for miscellaneous. Merge consistency patch. Excellent. Okay. And let's activate that. Okay, so we're at miscellaneous. So we're here. How much more of the guide we got? Or of this section? Yeah, good bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it there. And we're going to continue in the next video into Mrs. Carriage and Fairy Travel Overhaul Patches. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.